Hey guys, it's Megan, and today I'm talking about some air sign baby names. This is video two of four that I'm doing on um, names kind of based on astrological elements. So I'm uploading them. Um, yesterday I uploaded the fire signs, today's air, and then I'll continue with earth and water. Um, so yeah, this is really not about astrology too much. I don't know much about astrology. So if you're against astrology, it's against your religion, you think it's poo-poo, skip this video, I won't be offended. Um, but yeah, a lot of these names are nature names, some are even biblical, um, so hopefully it's it's definitely not meant to be controversial or offensive. Um, but yeah, so um, in the description box I've got down the 12 astrological signs, so in case you don't know what you are, and then those 12 signs fall into the four element categories, and so today I'm talking about air, like I said. Um, so the air signs are Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Aquarius feels like it should be water, right? Maybe just because the name? So yeah, let's talk about some air names. This is a really short one because I don't have too many air names. The first ones are the unisex names I want to talk about. And the first name I have is Sky. I've got two spellings, and so Sky is kind of like in the air, right? <laughs> it's a nature name with the um, just the Y ending. It's number 856 for girls, and with the YE ending, it's number 448 for girls. It's not in the top 1,000 for boys, but I've seen it used on both boys and girls. A lot of people like it as a middle name. Definitely sounds a little nature and hippie-ish, but not too out there. <laughs> and then I have. Um, Zephyr. Zephyr is Greek and it means a west wind. I think it's more of a brave choice. Z names or Z names, as you might say, are kind of interesting. On to the girls' names. So the first one I have is Erilyn. I think this name is really pretty. I like how it looks. I like how it sounds. It's an American name that means beautiful air. Perfect. Sounds great for this, right? Okay, the next name I have is Animo. It's a Greek and um, like a Greek mythological name that means breath and wind. It's got an interesting story behind it. I don't know how usable it is, but maybe for the brave namer. Then I have Aria, a name I love and lots of people love right now. It's Italian, it means lioness, it's number 91, but it also has the musical meaning, like a solo vocal, um, and it also can mean air in Italian, so Aria is really a pretty way to get some, you know, air element in there. <laughs> then I have Aura, Aura is a Greek name, it means soft breeze, it's kind of pretty as well. And then the last one for girls, it's a little bit of a stretch, it's misty. Um, it's English meaning mist, and it's for like that hazy, cloudy, you know, kind of misty weather. Um, so that has to do with air, right? I don't know. It was hard to find these. If you think of more names, please put them in the comments below. Um, so yeah, I've got four names for boys now. The first is Gust. Not Gus, Gust. <laughs> it's a word name, and it means uh, refers to like a sudden burst of wind or smoke. Um, like a gust of wind. I could see someone using it because it does sound like other actual names. Then I have Keanu. Keanu, of course, reminds a lot of people of Keanu Reeves. It's a Hawaiian name. I think a lot of Hawaiian names are lovely. I'm going to do a video on Hawaiian names, but I have a Hawaiian friend that I'm going to recruit so that I don't butcher them. Um, and okay, so back to Keanu. It means a cool breeze over the mountains. Isn't that a lovely meaning? Then I have Robbie. And it's an Arabic name, and Rabi means a gentle wind. It's kind of a sweet meaning. And then the last one I have for boys is Storm. Storm is a word name. It would be really good for like a weatherman, right? Um, is there a weather name man named Storm? I don't know. Maybe there is. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think there is one. So. Yeah, so those are all my air names. I hope you enjoyed them. Please let me know what other names you kind of feel could fit in this category. And I will see you tomorrow for the earthy names. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.